We're on. We're on. Two, one. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Wednesday, May 18, 2016. We shall begin our city council meeting. May I please have a roll call? Pete Hamill. Here. Randy Funker. Brad Hint. Here. Greg Gills. Here. Zach Sawyer. Here. Thank you. First on the agenda is public comments. Are there any public comments at this? <coughs> there are none, so we'll move on to the consent agenda. Any questions regarding the consent agenda? <clears throat> if not, do we have a motion to approve? So move. Support. Thank you. Last request for questions. May I have a roll call, please? Hamill? Aye. Sawyer? Aye. Hint? Aye. Gills? Aye. Going into new business, number three, we will now open the public hearing, and this is for the budget amendment for the fiscal year 2015 and 16. The public hearing is now open. Are there any comments? I, is this normal procedure? It is. I would assume we have pretty much annual basis. As, as you know, we always have to set our, our budget so far in advance. We certify it by March 15, right. but it doesn't start till July 1. So, I mean, budget's kind of a general guideline, but, you know, based on this, uh, the revenues coming in, you know, outseed the, the expenses, so we certainly don't have an issue. Things come up throughout the year that, you know, we certainly just can't plan for, like the storm at the airport, et cetera. That's kind of an unforeseen. Let me know when you can predict that. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I keep working on it every yeah. day, Pete. We need a magic So it is. We, I don't remember the last time we probably have not done a budget amendment, which we're required to have done be before uh, May 31st. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Do we have a motion then to close the public hearing on the budget amendment? amendment? So moved. Support. Thank you. Roll call to close the public hearing. Hint. Aye. Gills. Aye. Sawyer. Aye. Hamill. Aye. Thank you. And then we would need a motion to approve the amendment to the budget for fiscal year 2015-16. So moved. Support. Thank you. <laughs> and a roll call, please. Hint. Aye. Hamill. <clears throat> Aye. Gills. Aye. Sawyer. Aye. Number four on our agenda is considering the application for a tax increment financing, and Kurt will share that information with us. Thanks, Kurt. Yep. Thanks, Mayor. Um, first of all, I'd just like to welcome uh, Larry Rosaboom, Brian Rosaboom, and uh, and Kurt Jansma, members of the Rosaboom team, here uh, with us today. So. Um, Obviously, obviously, today we're, we're considering a TIF application, uh, requesting our assistance to facilitating a very exciting expansion project for Rosaboom Machine and Tool uh, that will create many high-quality jobs for our community and an expansion of the current footprint of their operation here in Sheldon. Uh, just a quick overview of the, of the, of, of the project itself. Uh, the proposed project um, includes a $16 million of a total investment, which will include a 46,000-square-foot manufacturing production line and will be assessed at approximately $2.5 million. This project is also proposed to create up to 54 new jobs within three years, many of which will be high quality jobs, adding to their current employee base of 260 people. The average wage for these new jobs will be $40,800, <coughs> and the new annual payroll created after 24 months is estimated to be at $1.8 million. We're also working very closely with Iowa Economic Development Authority for the consideration of additional assistance towards this project and hope to hear from representatives from the state within the next couple of days on the status of this request. Um, by working closely with IEDA, it helps keep this project uh, here in Iowa foremost, but more importantly, with our assistance at the, at the city level, it keeps this project in Sheldon. Um, to help facilitate this project, uh, Rosaboo Machine and Tool has applied for a full um, excuse me, for consideration of a full five-year tax rebate based upon the estimated $2.5 million, 46,000 square foot expansion project. This is estimated to create $76,500 in new commercial property tax annually, which will bring the request over five years at $382,500 for our council to consider here today. Um, the SCDC Executive Committee has met to review this application and would like to make unanimous recommendation to the council for final approval. That's the kind of the concept and the whole uh, project in a nutshell. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, Scott and I have certainly been working with the Rosaboom folks very closely. Uh, we'd be happy to answer those for you at this time. 
time span on this was what about 36 months or more for the full project yeah as far as job creation and everything else is about a 36 month uh, window they'd obviously with a 46,000 square foot facility yeah. they'd relative start relatively soon they like to get started as soon as they possibly can so yeah. right yep that's great i don't have any questions anyone have questions or comments i just think it's a <clears throat> super deal for sheldon i want to thank the rosenbooms for their commitment in in sheldon um i think the city we have to be proud that they're invest in this kind of stuff in the community of sheldon and the potential for the growth and i want to thank you guys for that yeah this is an outstanding just so exciting i'm, I'm not very good with words but it's thank you so much it's just beyond my personal excitement it's just over the top really appreciate it and being on the longest on the council here this has been i think the biggest project um, i've seen come through the council chambers with an existing business. So I'm excited for this and for the community. So thank you guys. On that note, I'd make the recommendation to approve the financing. To support. Okay. Any other comments? I'll share my thanks also. Not only does it mean a lot to the city of Sheldon, but personally, I have family members who work at RMT. So I thank you very much for that too. I know, I'm not sure when everybody will hear about this when it's made public maybe after this meeting I can share that with them I'm not sure but I thank you for that okay um, may we have a roll call then please on the TIF application Hint. Aye. Sawyer aye Hamill aye Gills aye thank you any other comments what good thank you council thank very you much Kurt. very very thank much appreciated mm -hmm. I would like to invite up to uh, the podium real quick uh, Larry Roseboom uh, he'd just like to elaborate a little bit on the project and the scope of what's going to happen here in Sheldon and uh, maybe answer any questions if uh, the council has any. I don't know, but Larry, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but he wanted us to say a few words. So. Absolutely. Gee, if I knew we would have a chance to do that, I'd have done some homework. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Mayor Mandering and council members, uh, thank you for this opportunity. This November, my wife Vivian and I started business 42 years ago. The years have gone by faster than I would have liked. So naturally, I think back why we picked Sheldon to start our company. First, we wanted to have a better community than Minneapolis to raise our kids. For our kids, we wanted a smaller community with a Christian school. We were familiar with Sheldon because I had worked at Anderson Machine and Big Four and was a member of their guard unit before going to two and die school. We enjoyed the lifestyle Sheldon had given us for those few years. Years have gone by and in the 42 years, our four sons have completed their college education and all have joined the company to be the second generation to move Rosenboom forward. Our lives have been full and blessed. Today we employ approximately 800 in our three plants with 260 in Sheldon. Annual payroll for Sheldon is over 13 million with an additional 4,500,000 in <clears throat> benefits. With this new expansion, we will have 50 new employees with additional tax revenue. This all did not just happen because of our exceptional employees. It took a community with good schools and churches and hospital and recreation and shopping and and a safe environment for all of us to live. Rosenblum is excited about the possibility of constructing a new production facility here in Sheldon to facilitate and support new business opportunities. Sheldon is where our business began over 40 years ago, and this will be the eighth expansion of growth for, by Rosenblum and Sheldon. With the addition of the new facility, Rosenblum will be positioned to better meet our customer requirements and support new growth in the future. We appreciate the support of Sheldon community with the progress of the community development and the incentives provided to businesses for the growth of our community. I know Kurt Strauth and, and Scott Winnie have done a lot of work on this project, and I would like to thank them and the city for the support. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Larry. Very nice. Thank you. And thank you, Scott. Thank you, Kurt. It's wonderful. Uh, uh, can I ask a question? Is this going to involve pretty <laughs> much the same kind of thing or new kinds mm -hmm. of procedures for you? Uh, it'll be a new procedure. Presently, we, it's a, what we call a vertically integrated project. So what it amounts to is that um, we buy a lot of chrome rod. We buy all of our chrome rod, and what we'll be doing is bringing that into Sheldon. Uh, to, we'll be making our own chrome rod, and not just for Sheldon plant, but for the Spirit Lake and Ohio plant. Good. Wow. So we won't have to increase our sales, but we'll be able to bring this in. So I mean, it's, Super. A, it's a, a good thing Very for nice. our company. Yeah. Fantastic. Great. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you, Larry. Yep. And thank you, thank you, not only to you, but your family, your staff, all your employees. It's wonderful. Thanks. <clears throat> number five on our agenda, considering the pay estimate number one, and this is on the airport 6T hangar project. That amount is $11,924.46. Yeah, just to clarify, they haven't specifically started work yet on the project, but they, of course, have started ordering materials, and some of those materials take quite a while to actually get here. Uh, so that's why they have made a once once the materials are ordered, they have actually have to pay for those materials. So that's why you do see a pay request ready for that project. When is the estimated start date to for it actually going? I don't know the official start date to you yet, Todd. Are those materials stored here, or in their, do they have in their warehouse? They're not here as of yet. Do we have an insurance certificate on them? Yes. They, they are the, the, yeah, the company provides us okay. insurance certificates and bonds on that project. Okay. So. <clears throat> I'll move to approve. Support. Thank you. Do you have any other questions? May I have a roll call, please? Sawyer. Aye. Kent. Aye. Gills. Aye. Hamill. Aye. And last on our agenda is <clears throat> comments. Are there any comments? Kurt had something? Mm -hmm. Just real quick, um, just like to piggyback a little bit on our announcement of Van Wyck from a couple weeks ago. Um, we would like to announce on behalf of the City of Sheldon and the Sheldon Chamber Development Corporation, it was with gratitude and appreciation that we recognize Sanford Health for their generous contribution of our towards the regional event center here in Sheldon. Um, the ultimate vision and financial support for this project and what it will mean to move our community forward is very much recognized and appreciated. $275,000 has been pledged towards the capital campaign effort to raise $725,000, and $225,000 has been pledged over 10 years to be used towards the operations of the facility for a total contribution of $500,000. Um, we'd like to take the time now to uh, thank Sanford Health for their various generous pledge of support and look forward to continuing to work uh, to move our community forward and this project, more importantly, ahead. Um, I'd just like to share a quote provided by uh, some, re or some um, from part of the members, or excuse me, the team from Sanford. Um, it goes on to say, Sanford is very excited about being able to donate to such a great community project that will enhance the lives of many here in Sheldon and help fulfill the motto of where families come first. So I just want to share that with the group. Thank you, Kurt. Yep. <clears throat> That's great news. Council, any other comment? I have one. I saw uh, that approved the uh, challenge that we issued to play in the exhibition softball game. Mm -hmm. I saw that in the paper <laughs> as well. Uh, my apologies to Don King, but we no. promoted the, the thrill of Manila <laughs> and uh, rumble in the jungle. We're going to have the showdown in Sheldon. Mm -hmm. uh, City Hall versus the Halls of Vision match, softball match against the uh, CDC and council versus board and administration staff from, from the school. Uh, and we are bringing our A game. We had challenged in them. We're hoping to have, but we're going to have fun. That's really what it boiled down to. We're going to have fun. We it's will a celebration. Win. In we got an award for working together on this project from the Iowa League of Cities, and so that we're going to have fun with this. So we'd like to have the community take part in this as well. June 13 is the date. Mm -hmm. I guess More details. Far out of hand, we'll have Lyle with his tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The good You're thing right is the police that. force is on our side. <laughs> That's right. <Yeah. laughs> Please note. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Um, along those kinds of lines, a little bit different. Uh, this Saturday, the uh, in conjunction with the Sioux County Bike Council, Trails Council, and uh, committee, and the uh, newly formed Nitwits Bike Club, there is a, a ride scheduled for Saturday at 10 o'clock. It'll leave the college and circle the trail uh, around out the pond and then college. We've, uh, I know I checked yesterday, I haven't checked today, but we had slightly over 50 people that already said they were going on the website, let alone the people that don't show up. So, well attended thing. It's for all ability groups and uh, family friendly kind of a thing. Uh, and hopefully that's the first of a series of rides around Northwest Iowa. It's not meant to be have trails will host a ride so that we can tour all of the facilities around Northwest Iowa. We just, I kind of thought we ought to be first. And so I stuck my nose into it and said we would do the first thing. Uh, people show up at 10 o'clock, ride their bikes, they can ride part or all. And... Uh, have a good time. If it meets with the success that it looks like it will, next year we'll try and make a bigger deal out of it. And, uh, and right now it's just a kind of an under the radar kind of a radar a run. So uh, Saturday at 10 o'clock at the LLRC. Wonderful. Thanks, Pete. Okay, I do not either. So on that note, do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Support. Thank you. And a roll call, please. Camel. Nay. Yes. Hi. <laughs> well, the can always have unanimous.